Set in operator, uses equality or identity. Why does first line prints true, but second prints false? And neither enters operator EQ. I am using Python 2.6. You need to define underscore hash underscore two. For example, will work as expected. As a general rule, Anytime you implement underscore simply underscore you should implement to underscore hash underscore such that for all x and y such that, x equals equals y, x dot underscore hash underscore, equals equals y dot underscore hash underscore. Set underscore contains underscore makes checks in the following order. The relevancy source code is in object slash set object dot c colon set underscore look key and in object slash object dot c colon pi object underscore rich. Compare. Bool. Sets and dictionaries gain their speed by using hashing as a fast approximation of full equality checking. If you want to redefine equality, you usually need to redefine the hash algorithm so that it is consistent. The default hash function uses the identity of the object, which is pretty useless as a fast approximation of full equality, but at least allows you to use an arbitrary class instance as a dictionary key and retrieve the value stored with it if you pass exactly the same object as a key. But it means if you redefine equality and don't redefine the hash function, your objects will go into a dictionary slash set without complaining about not being hashable, but still won't actually work the way you expect them to. See the official Python docs on underscore hash underscore for more details. A tangential answer, but your question and my testing made me curious. If you ignore the set operator which is the source of your underscore hash underscore problem, it turns out your question is still interesting. Thanks to the help I got on this so question, I was able to chase the an operator through the source code to its root. Near the bottom I found the pi object underscore rich compare bool function which indeed tests for identity, see the comment about quick result before testing for equality. So unless I misunderstand the way things work, the technical answer to your question is first identity and then equality, through the equality test itself. Just to reiterate, that is not the source of the behavior you were seeing but just the technical answer to your question. If I misunderstood the source, somebody please set me straight.